Okay, graduate peak cameras, I'm going to walk you through a little bit. If you wanted to do the macro on your color predictor, uh, you don't have to do this, but I know some people wanted to do it. And so if you want to create a macro button on your spreadsheet, here's a, a little tutorial on how to create uh, macro enabled buttons. So that's what I have here on mine, this update colors button uh, updates the colors. I have this range of color swatches that pulls the red, green, and blue values uh, from my color analysis worksheet and puts them on this main page. And so what I want to do is take the R, G, and B value and create the colors for these cells. So this is how to do that in Excel. First of all, you have to turn on the macros options. And so go to File. So when you hit File, you get this screen on Excel. Go down here and click Options. And then you get this options. There's several options here. You want to click the customize ribbon piece here. And then you want to enable this developer tab. The developer tab allows you to create and edit buttons and macros and so on. And then hit OK down at the bottom. Then you go to the developer tab up here. You click on the developer tab. And then you turn on design mode. So when you click on design mode, then you can edit the buttons, reshape them, and so on. They're not active. If you want to actually click the button to see if it does what it's supposed to do, then you turn off design mode. So when your design mode is on, you can edit the buttons. When design mode is off, you can click the buttons and have them work. Then you want to create your button, so you click insert. And you want to use the ActiveX control. So come down here and click the command button. Once you click that, then you can draw the button in Excel. And so you can have uh, you can have a button anywhere you want on your spreadsheet. And you can move it around as long as design mode is active. So here's a little button here that I've drawn. If up at the top you click Properties on that Developer tab, then you get this box that has all the properties of that button. And one of those properties is the caption. And so if you click with the mouse in here, you can type a new caption. I think at the first, when it comes up, the default caption would, in this case, would be command button two. And so you can go in and whatever you change the caption to, that's the text that will be shown on the, on the button. I put new update colors because I already had an update colors button on there. So I wanted to not be confused. And so I called it new update colors. Then you want to, um, look at the code and so up here on the developer tab you see this um this button here that says once you click on the on the button you can click view code and when you click view code you get a dialog box that has uh, something like private sub command button one click and so that's the event that triggers that macro when you click on that button that's an event and excel looks through all of its event driven uh, software and finds command button one underscore click and it runs the code inside that little uh, subroutine and it ends down here with in sub now when you first click view code it'll be empty it'll say private sub command button one click in sub and there'll be space in between with nothing in it and that's where you type in this text so we have 11 color swatches if you followed uh, along with my spreadsheet um, I had the zero concentration and then two, four, eight, 16, and so on, all the way up to 1,024. So I had 11 concentrations, 10 concentrations plus the original. And so that's 11 color swatches that I want to create. And <clears throat> Excel uses color index values. And so it has uh, like 56 or so slots that, that'll have different colors. And so we just want to change the default color of 11 of those slots. And so we'll just use the last 11. We'll go from 46 up to 56. And so this is the, this is the code, actually. We're going to take active workbook colors here, slot number 46. So this is saying the colors for this active workbook. So active workbook dot colors. And then we're changing value number 46 equals and then it's telling it it's RGB values. And so we're pulling the value from range G3. That's the first R value from my first color swatch, comma. Then this is the G value, range H3. So it's still on the third row. It's just an H column. That's the G value, comma, range I3. So that's the blue value in that first color slot, 
And so I have my RGB values there. I close the parenthesis. And then the next one I say, select that range, G3, H3, I3, select, select that range, dot interior, dot color index equals 46. So I change the, the colors, RGB values of slot number 46. And then I select that range with this macro and make the color of that range slot number 46. And that's going to change that color to those RGB values that are in those three cells. And then I just do this for 47, 48, 49, 50, all the way up to 56. And you see now down I'm at, at G13 and H13 and, and uh, I13. So I've got all of my um, things. So I change my color slot and I change my RGB value cell references to track along with those different colors. And I have 11 different um, bits of code in there. And then I, I'm ready to run it. So then I save this workbook as a macro enabled workbook. So I go up and save a copy, hit file, click save a copy. And then I click file type here and select macro enabled workbook. And then I hit save and then I close this and reopen it. And it'll give me a warning. It's like enable active content or something like that. And I hit yes. And then it says, are you sure? Do you want to make this a workbook, a trusted document? And you hit yes and then you can test the button. And so uh, if it comes up with developer mode and the uh, developer mode on, you can click that off so that the button is active. So sometimes the button doesn't work because on the developer tab, the developer mode is clicked. And so if you unclick that, then uh, it's like a toggle. If you untoggle it, then you can test your button. So that's how you get macros to work. Hopefully you guys can get your um, colors uh, to update automatically using these buttons. So that's all for now. Good luck.